Hey guys, welcome back to Harvey's New Eyes. We have finally made it into the insane asylum, just not in the way we thought we would. The attendants had forgotten their key. Lily thought it would be a good idea to hold on to it. Otherwise, someone might steal it. I'm not too sure what exactly we are looking for. And, and why finally, there it was. The map. Edna had hidden in this cave by Moore Lake. But wait a second. Lily already knew that. The map was in reality especially. So why do we still have this map? We have a bunch of useless shit. We still need the ball of wool to get rid of the last few restrictions, I assume. The cocktail album, useless. Edna's map, useless. The owl pipe, I'm assuming that's gonna like be useful in a very random and unexpected way. In any case. An inflatable dinghy had caught in the sewer grate. People flush the strangest things. Can we use it? Wait, we probably shouldn't. Oh, damn it, hold on. Wait, what am I doing? I kind of wanted to proceed on foot. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, I guess I can get off. What was the point of that? I could just walk that far. Yeah, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to use the boat for something further down the path. Let's see, so we have a door. The door was firmly locked. Which we have a key for. The door... I'm assuming. Boo. Huh. Whoa, Jesus! Well, who do we have here? A little girl. Just stay where you are, okay? Hey, stop! Wait, why? As long as the Phantom was stalking her, Lily didn't want any trouble. I see. Just stay where you are, okay? Who the hell are you? I really thought you were gonna be... Edna. Hey! Come back! Dude, no! You can't hide out on the water forever. You'll have to come ashore sometime, and then I'll get you. Wait, why do you have my keys? Did you steal the keys, you dick? Okay, so how do I get rid of this asshole? <laughs> he just shifts his mask. Okay. So, who is that? It looks like he... Huh. Like a very thin... Hey, come back. It's not a voice I recognize. I don't think that's Stop the point life. either. Okay, buddy, you're gonna have to chill. Come on, let's just continue. Look at how slow we're going. He could just as easily, like, lift us up from the boat. Come on. Hey, come back! Um... What the fuck am I doing here? Give up! You can't get away! Especially not against the current! Well, I'm going to try, buddy. Watch me go. Um, um, okay, yeah, this might be an issue. Uh, what do I do now? Hey, come back. Oh, is this just a case of me being faster than him? Yeah. Okay, well. Lily climbed the ladder. 
she had finally found a way to get into the institution. Why was that even a thing? Why? Not so fast. <laughs> Ooh, shit. X. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Lily, did you just... Why did you... Oh, this game. Although she was briefly distracted by a floating energy smarty, <laughs> Lily was able to reach the ledge. Not a moment too soon as the ladder crashed down behind her, dragging the phantom into the pit with it. No! You asshole of a game. By the energy smarty, Lily was able to pull herself up <laughs> on the ledge. Now her search for Edna could continue. <laughs> They were trying to get me to do the whole, um, whatchamacallit, the quick action scene, but, wait, now I lost all my items, I see. Oh, this game just gets more bonkers as it goes on. The lamp was glowing red. Something was missing here. So I'm gonna have to find a bunch of... Punch cards. I see. Punch card slot. Punch card. The map had more holes in it than Lily socks. The <laughs> mice there were apparently quite desperate. Okay, so. The mice there were apparently quite desperate. It was hopeless. What does that mean? It was okay. It and the last one. I see. Do I necessarily want? I I don't have a choice. It's the only way to go. Shit, that seems dangerous. What the? <laughs> The absolute absurdest thought of this game. Like, every step, every turn of the way, you just go, what the fuck is happening? Who is afraid of the boogeyman? Right. Not Lily. No, but who the fuck is this? Um, hey, that's my fireplace. You shouldn't be here unless you want to bring presents. Dude, I'm not Santa. Chimney. Not that the soot is bothering me. That was the old Mr. Frock. The new Mr. Frock is enjoying the dirt. Ah, dirt. You see? Yes. Okay, let's have a chat with this idiot. Living literally inside a chimney. <laughs> That's Mr. Frock to you. And in case you're wondering what a piece of clothing like me is doing inside a fireplace, I'm acquiring soot. That's right. I used to be very fastidious about staying clean. But then this impertinent person came along and dared to spill something on me. The stains never came out. My clothing is black and greasy. My socks haven't been ironed. And I even have fleas. Oh, Karen dude. And Bertram. You could have led with that. You, but they're sleeping right now. Um. I'm living in a sooty chimney. So what? I used to be very fastidious about staying clean. Now, you're now speaking with the dark Mr. Ooh. Frog, who eats his gummy bears without a napkin. <laughs> well, aren't you just the most evil of men? Um. Yes, I know that it's dirty here. So what? I love the cobwebs, the dust, and that rotting substance in the corner. I just finished combing it. I wouldn't dust her even if you put a feather duster right in my hand. You don't have a feather duster, do you? Uh -oh. Stop. I don't want to know. I don't immediately have anything for you, buddy. I'm sorry. D you don't need to mumble like that. Ever since Dr. Marcel's accident, we can make as much noise here as we want. He's no longer interested in what's going on inside the asylum. Wait, All what? All of his attention is focused on finding Edna. Really? 
Uh, Somehow you remind me of a patient we used to have here. She was a little taller than you. And I think I remember two red horns and a tail. Oh yeah, that sounds like me. Okay, so do we have a feather duster? We have a ball of wool. Do you, do you want a, that? A feather duster? Not that I would want to have a feather duster. Oh, no. You're now speaking with the dark, Mr. Frock. I spit on things like feather dusters. <laughs> I Not spit necessarily on things. on the run, but I spit on them. Okay, so let's just continue. Not too sure what the point of that dude is. Ooh, wait, wait, what was that? <laughs> Hold on, can, can we go back down? Maintenance room, okay. It's good to know there's something there. Buddy. Um, Mr. B-Man? Moths fluttered around the dim light of the lamp. They were apparently searching for food. Moths? Moths eat wool, don't they? The idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. It's right there, come on. Lily had never seen such an unhappy man in a bee costume before, but she also hadn't really traveled much. Yeah, I imagine you pretty much have to be a happy person. If you like, have the gall to run around in a bee costume, because... <laughs> look at the guy! Um... Uh-huh. It was hopeless. The man in the bee costume couldn't hear Lily from there. I see. So we're gonna have to find a way... to get his attention. Let's have a look inside the maintenance room. Oh shit, we're stuck in here as well. What's this? A slice of cheese. Lily, a slice of Swiss cheese. Ooh. There was never any cheese in the convent. Mostly just holes. I mean, it's a pot of cheese. It's something. I think that might be the only thing we'll able the to get here. was good, but Lily's arms were too short. Yeah. Lily had had to use a feather duster in the convent on more than one occasion, and sometimes she secretly tried it. A chair leg served there as a bar. There was definitely a good story in there that Lily would never hear. Were there other Belgian pizza delivery services in the area? Belgian? Why the hell would you order Belgian pizza? You might as well just go to Italy and like peruse their selection of vindaloo. Jesus. Somebody had left their credit card in their coat pocket. A certain... Hey! That was Dr. Marcel's credit card. Ooh. How about that? How about that? So I'm assuming we have to give the Swiss cheese to the moths. No? The idea was good. Wait. What? I? Hmm. Why can you not just like lift one arm over the thing and drop it down? Come on. Lily knew food. And when is Hmm. So do I use something on the Mothman? Do I use like the cheese on the Bee Man? The idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. Hmm. The idea. The idea. <laughs> well, thanks for the call time achievements. Yeah, that helps me a bunch. Are you kidding? Are you absolute? I put because it has holes and it's like a punch card. Oh my god! This goddamn game. Okay, so now I'm here. What is the point? I see. Lily had inadvertently broken off the leg of the chair. It was as pointy as a knife. Hopefully the funny little rabbit hadn't seen anything. Oh. But Lily, 
What are you doing there? Don't you remember? You must not use sharp objects. Just don't touch it, okay? See you around. I see. So I have a sharp object, but I can't use it just yet. Hmm. Okay, time to start gathering all the shit. But little water, don't you must just sharp see object. Around. Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it, Harvey. You toss pot. Lily had had to use a feather and some. Hmm. Okay, so let's take the pizza flyer for some good old Belgian pizza. Were there other Belgian pizza? What the hell do we have here? Bananas, tomatoes, broccoli, and blueberries. Why? <sighs> Why do I have these things? Yellow bananas, red tomatoes, green broccoli, blue blueberries. Amazing, that makes so much sense. That was done. How about that? So now I guess we can order pizza. Oh. Why is the Harvey doll here? I kind of want to just start ordering pizza, but I don't know why, so that's why I'm not doing it. Hold on. Can I not open this? I guess I can't. I'm gonna, like, give the guy the feather duster. Let's see. Whoop. Here you what go, buddy. You there? A feather duster? Not that I would want to have a feather duster. Oh, no. No matter how pretty they look. Which doesn't mean that I can't hold it for a second. Just one little second. That would be completely harmless. Go what for it, man. Give it to me now. There you go. Look at that. Uh, what a relief. And just look. I even found my old spare sheets. Here. Go ahead and take it. You... You've earned it. I've earned it by giving you a feather duster. Yeah, awesome. The sheets were spotlessly white. Hmm. Why would I need those? But Lily, <laughs> he's looking what in from are you the top. Doing there? Don't you remember? You must not use sharp objects. Just don't touch it, okay? See You're you such a little perv. Okay, so I can do a bunch of stuff, but not with a sharp object. I guess I'm gonna need the sheets to tie something together. That's my guesstimate. Uh, let's see, so that to the role-playing round, what? To the surveillance room, and what is this? What's going on here? Bathroom, iron door. Lily was certain, somewhere in the dark uncertainty, there she would find her friend. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to find a way to open it. What the? What was the funny rabbit doing there? He seemed not to have noticed Lily yet. <laughs> oh, Jesus, buddy. <laughs> Surprised to see me again? Yes, Dude. keep kicking. You won't escape me again. And now hold still until I've decided what to do with you. Lily considered this option. But instead did the following what did she do what did, what did she do what did she do phantom harvey phantom harvey oh i know i know i know strange the silly rabbit didn't even react to lily's ball of wool it's not real the phantom didn't look like he was open for negotiations so it's not a real harvey you must not contradict the doll that's good. Keep nice and still. You must not lie. 
Yeah, the Harvey doll is a fake. But what do I do about this? Um, give him the white sheet. The Phantom didn't look like. Damn it! What do I do? You must not use sharp objects. Yeah, I know, I know, buddy. You. Um, give him the banana. The Phantom did. Give him the tomato. The Phantom. <laughs> well. Phantom's eye? What? Lily couldn't see the Phantom's eyes. She just assumed that they were glowing evilly. So put the banana in the Phantom's eyes. The Phantom didn't let Lily out of his sight. She didn't have a chance to try anything. Put the banana in. Damn it. Oh, that would have been glorious. Uh, put the white sheet over the, the eyes. Phantom. She didn't know. Put the tomatoes in the, the eyes. Fan no, come on. Tomatoes in the, the eyes. The Phantom. She did. Lily couldn't see. She just. So, do I have to use the ball of wool on the eyes? The Phantom. She didn't have a. Ch no. Broccoli. The Phantom. She didn't. Have Blueberries. The fant she did. Hmm. Pizza flyer. Pizza. The phantom, she did. Oh come on! Everybody's persuaded by pizza. Credit card. The fant she didn't. Damn it! Well, I am pretty fucked. Wait, what? What is that? I see. Oh my god! I totally didn't twig that. Oh, this is not gonna go great. I'm gonna have to do the whole sharp objects thing, and then I'm gonna have to stab the guy in the eyes, and that's not gonna be fun. Let's see, I've been running for almost a half an hour. Damn it, would I be able to finish this? I think I might be. I'm gonna try to finish this inside this video. Let's see. Dragon's tail. <laughs> What's going on, brave warrioress? Too weak? <laughs> yeah, buddy. I think I have a bigger kill count than you at this point, so you probably shouldn't talk shit. Lily thought it was a bit cliche, but what was she going to do about it? Write a mean letter to Renee and Pokey? Lily didn't want to appear greedy. One feather would be enough, just like a Christmas dinner at the convent. What? <laughs> What's going on too? <laughs> okay, so what the fuck is going on here? First off, let me look at have a look at the gate. Come on. Iron gate. There we go. The door was firmly locked. <laughs> That's right. Run away. I'll get you next time. Okay, so what's your deal, Harvey Dragon well, thing? Oh, you are very brave to come so close to me. Can't you see my teeth, my spikes, and my sharp claws? Didn't anyone ever tell you to stay away from sharp objects? Yeah, you did, that you numbskull. Be a tragic error. Okay, so we used a feather on a tail. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Keep going, Lily. Come on. And we do it. Wait, what? And we do it again. I assume here. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I can see where this is going. Buddy, buddy, you gotta watch out. Didn't you notice your tail has spikes? Buddy. Oh, he's gonna get wrecked by his own tail. 
<laughs> no, not just yet. Hmm. <laughs> what to? <laughs> okay, so what do I do? <laughs> so it keeps moving. I pretty much have to move it in the right direction. Why do they have a giant whistle? The pain. <laughs> Idiot. You dead <laughs> Look what you did. Don't just stand there. Do something. Do you want me to pull out the spike? Are you entirely sure? <laughs> oh, you big baby. Thanks. Come on. That was close. I... Uh-oh. Yeah. This demon had <laughs> also made a mistake. It seemed that in certain situations, it really was necessary to handle sharp objects. Lily returned victoriously to reality. Apparently, dragons are made out of ketchup. And now we have to do the inevitable. Okay, yeah, buddy. I just like took a trip inside my own brain. If you're in, in any case interested, this is the result. Ah, my eye! Damn you, you disobedient brat! Damn! Lily fought for air. The phantom's grip was tight around her. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Disobedient, it had said. Wow, damn. So I guess this is a good place to stop. I'm starting to get the feeling I'm getting close to the end. Um, so who knows? Maybe one or two videos kind of curious how this is all gonna end but in any case i will see you guys next time bye guys